This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are from Red Cedar Chamber Music, Mira Kim and Carrie Boston. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to see you all. It's uh, the beginning of a new Red Cedar Chamber Music season, and your first program. Actually, you've you've been in the midst of this because you do many concerts uh, around the uh, around Eastern Iowa, but headed into the final rotation with your main concerts in Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. You have chosen a genre <laughs> near and dear to everybody listening to us right now. It's Jazzy Jamboree. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, really, um, the it's so much fun, this program. No one should come unless they just want to have a great time. <laughs> don't come. Yeah. If you don't want to have fun, don't, don't come. come. <laughs> but our guest artist is Christine Bellamy. Uh, the the great, great <laughs> clarinet player. Yeah. Uh, of course, if you go to the Cedar Rapids Municipal Band Concert, she's right there in front. <laughs> yep. You just watch her. You know, she's and the she's one you watch. And soloed. Yes. And, and, of course, yep. she's in orchestra, Iowa. Principal, the principal clarinetist clarinet. for the orchestra. Yeah. yeah. So she, she played a, two years ago a klezmer program, and it just turned into this big party, and everyone loved it so much. And when we asked her, you know, what she'd like to do if she came back, she said, well, you know, jazzy, Gershwin. We should do a Gershwin program. So basically we started out exploring the intersection between classical music and and jazz. Um, and so the there were so many composers in Paris that uh, of classical music that, that were influenced by the great jazz tradition and made it over there in the 30s and just blew up in Paris. And so Mio and and so many of those composers. So we have a couple of works by composers who were influenced in their style uh, by, uh, by jazz. Um, well, and, and the gypsy jazz movement, of course, always, always had strings. Had, yeah. You know, had, had, had you know, violins and, uh, you know, in, a, in a way that, you know, that other, you know, that other traditions, you know, didn't come there till later. Right. And then another composer w we're featuring, um, Ingolf Dahl, uh, wrote this huge piece it's actually the biggest piece on the program but he wrote it for Benny Goodman because he was really good friends with Benny Goodman he met him because Benny Goodman was playing a Mozart concerto um, with some orchestra and didn't feel qualified to write his own cadenza so he had Dahl write it and then they became great yeah. friends and this this piece was actually oh. You Benny could find Goodman. a good clarinet player yeah. to help you out with that. <laughs> well, you know, Benny did have his forays into classical music. He actually came to the Quad City Symphony and soloed. Uh, what decade was that? <laughs> uh, that would have been early 90s. Uh, yeah. Early 90s, yeah. So, but at any rate, then we, we do have so some... So some classical composers influenced yeah. by jazz, but you are also diving into the Great American Songbook. Absolutely. And... Um, you know, we have we have a couple of real standards, and then um, and then and then a Gershwin suite, which was arranged by Steve Shanley, local jazz legend. Steve is a regular <laughs> guest on the program, yeah. and uh, for those who don't know, in addition to being a superb band leader and teacher, he is probably one of the country's leading arrangers in marching band and jazz band. And, uh, sure. and, all now for and, and now for violin, cello, and clarinet. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now he's brilliant and prolific, and um, just you know he just captures he captures the joy in all the music, and it's just great. And in this particular arrangement, he does something really fun with summertime. He makes it a cha cha, so it's <laughs> it's recognizable, but it has a different flavor than we're used to hearing. So. And you're also involving your new composer in residence, who is a great friend to Red Cedar. He's Absolutely. been with you guys for many years. Yeah, Michael Kimber has been a guest artist, and he's written quite a number of works for us. Um, and he's beginning a two-year tenure as our composer in residence. And we asked him for something. And, of course, he knows uh, Mira and I and Christine quite well and has played and worked with us and written music for us for years. And... You know, we told him what the program was about and said, well, you don't have to write something jazzy, but if you want to, that's okay. Um, and, of course, he knows that Red Cedar loves to celebrate Iowa's cultural heritage, and he had a great idea. He chose the Iowa Corn Song. <laughs> Do you know the Iowa Corn Song, You know, song, we're Dennis? from <laughs> Iowa. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Iowa, Iowa. State yeah. of uh -huh. all the land. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. And he <laughs> turned it into a set of variations and it's just it's all over the map it's got swing there are ballads 
It's got some klezmer. It's got uh, rag ragtime. And, you know, it's about eight variations and then ends with this rousing, uh, uh, rousing march rendition of the, of the whole chorus. But song. will there be an audience sing-along? Uh, there That's is. The, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, so it's, I mean, it's, it's great fun. And it really highlights, um, you know, the, that intersection of these Western composers being influenced by, imitating, and then actually, you know, just classical music's musicians uh, taking on the challenge of, you know, Stefan Grappelli or, you know, <laughs> Dave Brubeck or, you know, it's a lot of fun. The ki- and as I said, you've done several of your rural outreach concerts, but you're heading into the home stretch here. So you're actually been on the Kirkwood campus, right? We will be next week. We'll be performing at Ballantyne Auditorium. That's a daytime concert. And we'll be at a couple other senior living communities and then finish up with main stage events October 12th and 13th. All we'll right. be at the Chapel of Mercy at Mount Mercy. Beautiful space. Perfect acoustics for this. Yes, acoustically and visually it's stunning. And then we'll be at the Englert Theater on Sunday, October 13th. Okay. Uh, the concert is Jazzy Jamboree. Uh, again, the on the Kirkwood campus, if you've got a lunchtime free on That's Thursday. October 10th. On uh, Thursday the 10th, and then the, was it the 11th and 12th? Did the 12th, that, right? and 13th 12th and 13th are the uh, main go. stage events. Yeah, and we've got a couple of senior events in, in between. Yeah, so uh, Saturday on the Mount Mercy campus in Cedar Rapids, and Sunday at the Englert. Yeah. And if people want information, of course, they can visit your website. www.redcedar.org. All right. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio most Thursdays and Fridays at 1020 or download the podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule using your favorite podcast app or at kcck.org slash culture. I'm Dennis Green.